Hello, I'm here with Salva. And I'm going to ask him a few questions about this universe of JavaScript. The first one is when it comes to virtual reality and JavaScript, what tools, APIs, or frameworks would you recommend for us? Okay, so um, WebPI is a new API for accessing the lowest level hardware, you know. It's a, well, it's a low level API for controlling um, VR devices, you know? So um, it is really hard to just hack on these low level APIs. So I recommend to use some high level frameworks. Of course, you will need to, uh, to create some 3D graphics, and for that, you can use directly WebGL APIs, but that's not very effective. WebGL uh, has the same problem of WebVR. It is very low level, so you can use 3GS. But the problem with 3GS is that uh, it's a very complex API for uh, non-technical authors, you know, for non-technical authors, it could become messy uh, very quick. So my recommendation is to use another level of abstraction. Uh, Apheim is kind of a new vocabulary for eight, uh, ATML. You know, it's an extension of ATML to actually manage uh, a 3 d You can actually put this element on the scene in a declarative way, like if you were simply writing ATM. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, the next question. Uh, what advice would you give for someone who is just entering the market as a JavaScript developer? Well, I think uh, the most the thing I consider most valuable is that um, they should focus on learning techniques and try to not be very opinionated about frameworks. You know, there is this crazy trend about being of only one uh, framework or trying to, to learn a very specific technology, but that's not the point. The, the web evolves very, very fast and it is almost impossible to, to, to cover. Yes, to keep on. So, for me, the most important advice I would give not only to a JavaScript programmer, but any programmer or any engineer is learn about technicals. For instance, it is it is clear for me when, when you talk about React. Uh, what React added is what is really important is not React, is the you know the virtual zone, is that technique that allows us to patch and produce only the optimal changes and you can see how uh, third parties, uh, other developers created their own implementations of virtual DOM. You can study them and you, of course, you can specialize in one framework and don't stop there. Try to look behind it and see, discover what, what, is, going, what is going on behind the technology and apply that because that that is probably that is probably what will live beyond the framework. Uh, talking about like, all these things that are popping up, right? So there are a lot of new frameworks popping up. Like while I'm interviewing, I'm pretty sure there's a new framework out there. And so, what do you think about this big wave of frameworks popping up? How does one keep track of things without getting lost? Um, it's hard and I'm not the best person to answer this question because I don't use them. Um, I, I came from, from Firefox OS development and there we, we were not using any framework at all. But that doesn't mean that vanilla JavaScript is better than framework than using frameworks. When you use a framework, you accept some rules. You accept to program in a way that other people think about, um, think it was the best way to program. And you need to acknowledge with this 
kind of, of this way of thinking before uh, before embracing the framework. And but if you agree, if you agree with the vision that the framework provides you, uh, you are perfectly fine. You can go and nobody can can tell you one framework is better than another. Uh, frameworks are created with some goals in mind. If those goals are aligned with your needs, then it's totally okay. There is no an advice for how to uh, how to keep yourself informed. If you are fulfilling your company goals, if you are fulfilling your own goals, your own um, quality standards, then you are doing the right job. The right job in an efficient way because it's the way you know how to do your work. So. Um, thanks a lot for your advice, for your opinions. And I hope you have a good day today with your talk at the event.